Good morning, you two. Um, today we're going to be looking at a new text, and this text is about real life. What do we call it if we have a text that is about real life? That's absolutely correct. We call it non-fiction. And today's non-fiction book is about a animal, and that animal is a shark. So we're going to be having a look at a book about a shark today. So let me get started. Um, we're going to be doing the key vocabulary today, which will help you with your uh, questions tomorrow and on Friday. So let's think about sharks. So before we get started with the reading, we're going to I'm going to share my screen with you and introduce you to today's keywords. So what is the title of our book today? The title of our book is absolutely. And who is the author? It's quite small, but hopefully you can see that it is Gillian Powell. Our keywords today, we've got five. Hunt, hunt. And hunt is where you are trying. Uh, and today we have got five keywords. Hunt, sandpaper, gills, pups and plankton. Say them with me. Hunt, sandpaper, gills, pups, and plankton. Let's go through what those words mean. So, a pup is a young animal. In particular, we call the babies of sharks, pups. So, a shark's baby is called a pup, pup. Uh, plankton, plankton is an organism that provides lots of food for uh, many fish and whales. And you can see there's a picture of plankton. Uh, down in the bottom of the screen and it's lots of different organisms. So can you see the picture of the plankton here? Then we have the word hunt. And that means to chase or search um, and basically to try and kill. So it's what a shark would do to get hold of its prey, what it's planning on eating. So it would hunt. Next we have sandpaper and sandpaper is paper that's had like an abrasive lot of sand added to it to make it rough and it's often used uh, during DIY or home improvements. Okay and it's paper that's got kind of bits of sand and stone on it that makes it really quite rough. It's not soft at all. And lastly that leaves us with gills and gills are this part here of the fish. Um, that you can see up on the picture and the gills are helping the fish to be able to breathe. So they need their gills to help them breathe underwater. So we've got our five words, pups, gills, sandpaper, hunt, plankton. Let's, let's read through our book and our book today is sharks, sharks. We're going to play jump in now. Uh, so I hope you'll join in with me as I pause before reading the word. What are Sharks. Sharks are fish that live in the sea. There have been sharks in the sea for millions of years. The smallest sharks are the size of a human hand. The biggest sharks are bigger than a bus. Wow, that's quite big. I don't think I'd want to meet a shark that's the same size as a bus. Sharks have gills. Oh, key word. Fins and scales. The scales on their skin are rough like Sandpaper, another key word. Sharks have no bones in their body. They have cartilage. Cartilage is softer than bone, but it is very strong. Fish facts. All fish live and breathe in water. All fish breathe with gills. All fish have fins. Most fish have scales on their skin. Most fish have bones in their body. Most fish lay eggs. Some fish give birth to live babies. A shark's life. Most sharks give birth to live babies. Their babies are called pups. Some sharks give birth to about 100 pups at a time. The pups can swim and hunt for food as soon as they are born. Other kinds of sharks lay eggs. They lay their eggs down on the bottom of the 
C. Baby sharks hatch from the eggs. All baby sharks grow to their full size in 10 to 15 years. Sharks eat other fish and see animals. They can smell, hear and even feed, feel animals in the water. Most sharks have about five rows of teeth. They use their teeth to catch other fish and see animals. The biggest teeth are at the front of a shark's mouth. When one of these teeth falls out, a new tooth moves up into its place. Whale sharks are different. They eat only small fish and tiny living things called plankton. A whale shark swims with its mouth open. The small fish and plankton go into the shark's open mouth. Okay, just like you did last week with your vocabulary, you're now going to match up the vocabulary new word with its definition, its meaning. So down the left hand side of your sheet, you have the new key vocabulary words and on the right side of the sheet, you have the definitions. You need to match them up. If you need to rewatch this video to remind yourselves what the words mean, that's absolutely okay. I hope you enjoy your task and I can't wait to see it uploaded onto Cecil.